Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might be explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. Uh, tell me your favorite arranged marriage. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say uh, no. Hold on. No. 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 Angelina Jolie and what's uh, that was arranged. And who's the guy? Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Well, they had the blood capsules. Yes. Would you ever wear a blood capsule of your partner around your neck? Why? I'm just curious. I don't understand why when rich people like get a lot of money and get into a relationship, they gotta always do weird shit with blood. Like, I what's saw that a dude about? today when I was out at the store, he had Peggy tattooed on the back of his neck. I literally Peggy did. or Pe- Peggy. Like a woman's name, Peggy. I like, oh. so I was I like, thought dude. you said pegging. I'm like, well, no, that's, not pegging. that's that's totally Bro. different. Bro, I walked in and I'm following this guy and, and like he's heading towards the men's section too. I was like so close to just being like, "How's Peggy, how's Peggy bro?" <laughs> was it P E G G I? Why P G? Maybe it's uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's his daughter. Yeah, maybe he's into pegging. So, anyways, so it's a weird. So, name, anyways, by the way. certain cultures are Peggy. really into arranged marriages, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, that's well, kind of their thing. Like, like, okay, like the. Thank Indian- you for teaching me about culture, Jonas. <laughs> oh, <shut up. laughs> So like in one, in one the Indian culture that that's yeah. kind of like something that happens. A yeah, hundred percent. So yes. there was a story. There was there was a there was a uh, an arranged marriage. Mm. A man was set to marry a woman. There in, in Indian weddings are very lavish. They are very. There's a lot going on with them or whatever. In the middle of the wedding, the wife collapses. So they aren't married yet. She collapses. Mm. They end up taking her to the hospital. She faking it. She didn't want to do it. Well, no, 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 no. So like the wedding continues after she's gone. She goes to the hospital. I'm sorry. She, what? She, yeah. Oh, no, no. They don't stop. Okay. She dies from you, a heart attack. How do you kiss the bride? Oh, I'm getting to that. Okay. So, so they get word. The girl has died. That's, that's effed up. So they're at the wedding and take a wild stab what they do. Just. I'm guessing Throw it out there. I am going to guess that he ended up kissing her corpse. That's what I'm guessing. No, no, no. The family just took her little sister and said, "Okay, you're getting married to him now." I'm sorry, what? So in the her big sister died. So at the wedding, the little sister just gets put in her place and he marries the little sister instead. How old was the little sister, my man? I mean, I, they were all adult age. It wasn't like okay, childhood. okay, because you know that's a thing, right? I mean, you, you you're know. not wrong. You're not wrong. You know that's but like, a thing. Can you just imagine, like, you're in an arranged marriage, which is always already awkward enough. You're you're starting to get to know someone. You're like, okay, I guess we're gonna do this. She dies in the middle of the goddamn wedding, and all of a sudden they're just like, here's somebody else, because they want the families wow. to be met. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the reason that they do these arranged yeah, marriages, it's a symbolic, right? It's a symbolic thing, and it's a, of course the intertwining of uh, funds. Yeah, yeah, probably two really well off families. They mm-hmm. want to keep the bloodline in the family Bruh. and the heritage and all that. Bro, but bro, I couldn't even imagine. Like, I'm going to marry my wife. She dies at the altar, and they're just like, "Well, her sister's here." <laughs> like, what the actual fuck? Like, that's- see, and the, and and honestly, the thing is, is that it always seems like in these situations that the woman gets the short end of the stick. And I'm not, I'm not a feminist by any means of the word, but I, I do feel like that any system where it's like geared towards one race or sex or, you know, any, anything is, is a little effed up. It's a little messed up to me. It's dude that when I read that story, I was like, that is wild as wild as hell dude like what yeah. the hell like if the if it like honestly if arranged marriages were done both ways where it was like okay this man is and a lot of well, times I mean, they are and a lot of times it is a lot of I times mean, you can't is. arrange one side without arranging the other i it, you're not even wrong i guess i maybe i just feel bad for women and i um, should just go ahead and take my red pill before we start video i mean i saw you eating them before we started <laughs> just eating a bowl of red pills yeah yeah you got, i know you got them in your pocket at all times. i i do i do think that's kind of weird i wonder if the reaction or the uh the idea would have been the same if the man had died during the wedding did he have a brother exactly like what if she what if she wouldn't have had a sister what if she only had a brother they get married 
I don't know. They're like, well, you're marrying Tom. I mean, look. Okay, so look, me speaking from a man, let's get chauvinistic with it. 100%, oh, okay. 100%. I, I'm gonna, I mean, that's normally your bag. Yeah, exactly. 100%. <laughs> so I would have to say that if I were at an arranged marriage and my fiance died, I mean, the best bet is to have her sister get up there, right? <laughs> right? I mean, am, I wrong? am I wrong? Are you happy because she's younger and hotter? I mean. What if she's not younger and hotter? <laughs> You're like, well, I always liked her better anyways. After you've known a girl what for long enough. What if he enough? poisoned her hoping that I mean, he's like, I really like your sister a lot. She's real cool. After you've known a girl for long enough, you, you're you going to have maybe like one thought about the sister. About killing her? No. no. <laughs> about the sister. You know what would that feel have like? Have I ever dated a girl that had a sister? Have I ever dated anyone that had sisters that yes. I knew? Yes. Yes. I can oh. tell you, I can tell you a hundred percent that every girl I've dated, I have looked at either her friend or her sister and been like, mm. you know, and just do like the raised eyebrow with How the head. How many of tilt. them have you? Have you? Uh, never, never. I, I got more respect than that. You've never had sex with one of your ex's friends? Oh well, yes, a hundred percent. Okay, <laughs> you just talked about what? You're just like I have more respect than that. I like, would never f your sister. But I would never friend. do. Yeah, your friend, hundred percent. I have definitely. You know, there's no relationship. I'm not blood related to you. Lady. Yeah, I have definitely like. Oh, I dated you. Like, oh, but I, but your friend's really hot too. Exactly. Like, like, like that's happened for, for sure. And you just like, and you know, they're, you would just like raise your eyebrows and be like, oh, well, you know, I would. You know, yeah. Why yeah. Not? I'm trying to think. Like the last. Like the last girl I actually, last girl who was technically like my girlfriend did have a sister, but I think she was the hotter of the two. I mean, look, it's it's bound to happen, man. And the fact is that, I mean, I feel like women do the same thing. I feel like women, if they have a lot of guy friends, they're going to look at their guy friends and they're going to just like in the back of their head be like, eh, I, you know, on a good, on, if I were drunk. <laughs> you know? Wait, well, hold on. Cause, like, we can't okay, help ourselves. Okay, hold on. Like, I feel like. Every guy who has female friends that are not sexual mm -hmm. knows that if he would have sex with them or not. But I don't feel it goes backwards. I you don't, don't think that like, women look at guys and know if they would have sex with them or not. I think, but I think it's different because I think men are like, if the opportunity arose with these female friends, I would definitely. But I think women look at their guy oh. friends and would be like, nah, I'm never going to have sex with that dude, period. No. Um, I mean, but there's been definitely girls who I can look at and I'll be like, no, I'm not going to have sex with you, period. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I have friends who are girls who was like, no, 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 we ain't ever, I mean, we ain't ever doing anything. I feel like it's not necessarily a guy looks at her and says, if I would get a chance and a woman looks at it and says, uh. I think a woman looks at it and says, "Under the right circumstances, because you maybe if to, we're both drunk and we're like, yeah, because the things that get blood rushing to uh, the opposite sex's genitalia is a little bit different than ours. Ours are a little bit like, more. Oh, I saw a side boob. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm. I'm yeah. I'm bricked up. <laughs> Brick, I'm cinder block over here. Saw, oh, she bent over. I saw down her down the cuff of her, yeah. her uh, in her neckline. Yeah, and with then, a with a woman, you gotta appeal to her her emotions a little bit more. So you're gonna have to, you know, maybe do something nice for her. Maybe you know, you know, make them feel special and wanted. They they like that. I mean, we like that too. But I can. I just get, want someone to make me feel wanted. I can get cinder blocked up if you show me a kneecap. So it's just. It's whatever. I mean, you take that hijab down. You Whew. take that hijab down. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> Is that your thing? <laughs> no, I don't know. I, you, would you? Would you? How would you feel about an arranged marriage? I should say. Ooh. If you were, if you were asked to uh, commit Dude, to one, that would be hard. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like I feel like, but I feel like if you're in the sort of culture that, that happens. You just kind of accept it because it's almost it's almost if I feel like if you're in like say Indian culture and you're in your you know you're gonna you know from a young age you're getting arranged. Native American. No, actually, okay, actually I'm, yeah. I'm joking. Go ahead. Um <laughs> you know that that's what's happening, so you're expecting it, right? Like I guess that, that that's just part but that's almost like the <laughs> same as like in the Amish culture when they give them the experience to leave, where you're like 
You gonna go? Rum Springer. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's kind of like you. I mean, you have a choice. You're a fucking human. I imagine that the cultures that have to deal with that ideal being a part of their uh their everyday life, they have probably ways to cope. They probably have like uh, literature that you can read or like uh people who can help them instruct them through the process. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like here's the thing. I feel like because a lot of times people want to they want to marry for love right like i love this person they're whatever they're my everything sure, whatever sure. the fuck it is but i feel like if you if i met someone and i was like look we get along really well but i'm not really attracted to you i don't really love you but like we get along we mm -hmm. can have a we can have a family unit mm. like and it's almost like a transactional family but like where do you get your like love and affection and your like sex from right because if you don't love, if you don't find them attractive and you don't quote unquote love them or like whatever, you can have a family with anyone. It can work. You can build a life with someone if you're compatible that way. Yeah, and even still, relationships are difficult. Right. So right. throwing one more thing on top of it, just making it more. Sometimes difficult. I wonder, like, so, and we'll wrap this up because we're getting to time. But like, sometimes I wonder, like, if if like dating like an asexual person, where like sex was off the table with them completely like sex you don't have to worry about sexual compat about uh, compatibility with them at all right they they are just asexual they don't want ever want to have sex and you just worried about like emotional connection building a life whatever and they were like hey if you need to go have sex somewhere else you can have sex somewhere else that's fine i'm never gonna have sex with you i don't want sex i'm not mm. interested in sex what sort of like how hard would that relationship be if you didn't have to worry about the sex part with them and you only had to focus on, like, living and building a life with them? Like, what would that look like? Like, that would be very interesting. Ugh. <laughs> right? Well, right. It's like... I kind of hate it. If you had the freedom to still, like, have sex with someone else, right? Like, because yeah. obviously, if you're, if you're not asexual and your partner's asexual, never going to work unless you can have sex somewhere. Like, you need sex if you're not uh, an asexual. Uh, I'm going to keep it honest with you, man. Uh, the pursuit for sex is supposed to be mitigated via the relationship, not, okay, I have to take time out of establishing the relationship to go look for sex. It's like, <laughs> okay, hold on. It's like the idea of I get married, I feel like I've meal prepped, you know? Okay. You you establish the amount of time that you're given to that woman to meal prep. Now I have those meals on demand. Or I should say I have those meals on demand versus But the trope is when you get married you stop having sex. Versus having the refrigerator there and going out to eat every night. Now I got to spend the money. I got to drive. I got to spend the gas. I have to go to the restaurant. I have to sit at the restaurant. I have to eat. I have to take the food home. You know, it's like yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's gonna be more expensive. It's not. It's not good. Yeah. It's not a good look. Yeah. No. All right, I mean, man. We gotta. We anyways, gotta go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. We up.